last year. Pam Rhodes met the man behind an ambitious architectural project being built to celebrate prayer in the open air. So Richard, what is this project? Well, it's called the Wall of Answer Prayer and we want to build an architectural sculpture like the Angel of the North by the side of a motorway, be made of a million bricks and every single brick is going to represent an answered prayer. To display a million answers, we hope will give a real power and faith to people. So I suppose the first thing was to get the designs. That's right. So we ran a global competition with the Royal Institute of British Architects. We had 133 entries from 23 countries. And then we had a panel of expert judges who went through and we've narrowed that down to five designs. We've got them here. So we've got a whole, a whole range. Some are very high. See these two, you know, these were about 150 foot tall. Well, if you think of the Angel of the North, that's like 35 foot. So, oh, wow, so it is huge. Yeah, so we're looking for something colossal. And then, you know, we have others that are more spanning. This is more than cathedral look. Made of a million bricks. Yeah. How do we hear about the prayers? Well, the concept is that we will use some technology so that you'll be able to put your phone against a brick and then your phone will light up and it will tell you the answered prayer that that specific brick represents. So are those prayers already coming in? What sort of people are telling yeah, you? Yeah, every day. So it's, it's quite cool opening the post at the moment because we're getting all these stories that are coming in and some are, you know, small things. You know, like a young boy I was lost his pencil before an exam and, and prayed and, and found a pencil. And then some are huge things in terms of healings, um, miracle babies. Some are not all yeses either. I don't believe that when God answers prayer that it's always a yes. Sometimes it's a not quite now, sometimes it's a no. But prayer for me is all about the journey of discovering what God is like. This is obviously going to cost quite a lot of money. Where is that coming from? Uh, through prayer. <laughs> <laughs> so we are just praying. It's just been amazing how the right money has come in at the right time to get us to the next stage in the process. A year after we first met Richard, he's taking us to the exact site he's been given for the Wall of Answered Prayer, which is just outside Birmingham. This is 10 acres. We've got the M42, which is just over the uh, trees to that side. Over that side, we've got the M6. Uh, HS2 will also be just sort of coming round here. About half a million people will travel past this every week. The winning design for the wall has now also been announced. Snug Architects won it with their incredible Mobius strip which is a, a circle that twists and goes high 50 metres into the skyline. It manages to create this massive, iconic structure which we wanted. So what we have to do next is go through the planning process and then we'll be looking to start to build in 2020. I think it's really important to offer something that's outside of the four walls of the church. And so over these 10 acres, there'll be loads of different areas and spots where people can just take some time and call on the God who answers. <laughs>